G'day guys and welcome to another Blender Buzz tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you perhaps one of the coolest things I have seen in Blender for quite a while. And that is a new denoising feature. And just to give you an example of what this can do, you can see here on the screen are two images. Now, if you look at this one on the right, you're going to see it looks nice and clean. The render, there's no noise whatsoever. It's a really nice render. And if you look at the one on the left, you can see it has a lot of noise. Now here's the thing that's really amazing. Both of these have the exact same render settings, except for one little difference. One has a new feature enabled in Blender, and one doesn't. So today I'm going to go and show you how to set this up in Blender. In fact, this tutorial is so quick because it is literally so fast to do. So you can see here I have a scene. And this is Blender 2.785. And it's very important that you have Blender 2.785 or otherwise you're probably not going to have this feature, okay? So you're going to see, if you go to your Layers tab next to your render setting, on the very bottom there's going to be a new feature in Blender called Denoising. Now if you do not have this enabled, and if I were to go and render this now, and I'm going to quickly render this and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here you can see this image is now done rendering. And you can see there's a lot of noise in this image. Um, it's 100 samples. Uh, actually, it's 120 render samples, and I already decreased some of the bounces and things, and it's still really noisy. And if I were to do an animation with this, it would take forever. I'd have to set this up to like over a thousand samples to get rid of that noise. Now, here is the magic part, and this is the part that's incredibly amazing. So I'm just going to go to slot 2. I'm going to go and enable denoising, and now I'm going to render this again. And watch what happens this time when I'm done. It's going to be about the same render time and look at the difference, it's going to be amazing. So if I, even when I press rendering, you're going to notice, when it starts rendering, okay, you're going to see it's noisy, but then it does this second step, where it's a second recalculation, and it smooths it out. So you're going to have a look here, if I, if I zoom in, just have a look what happens here, just give it a second. You're going to notice it just starts um, becoming nice and denoised. So it, it, can, it can take a little while, so at first it's going to look like it's not working, but as it starts rendering, you're going to notice it, um, it's just becoming clean. So it's, it's almost like magic. It's, it's really amazing. So when I first saw this, it just um, absolutely blew me away. Any moment now. Okay, here we go. You can see here it's smoothing it out. See? It, goes, it does this second pass where it kind of like... Well, I suppose it not smooth it out, but it, it, it denoises it. And it does a really good job at, at it without losing um, too much of your detail. So you can see here, that is what it is doing. And I'm going to just let this finish, um, this render finish, and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And here we have it guys, it is now done rendering and it just looks amazing. So you can see we have pretty much gotten rid of all that noise. And the render time was just a little bit more. So if I go to my first slide, slot here, you can see it was 3 minutes and 70, um, 37 seconds. And the second time, it was just a little bit longer, just a few seconds longer. Um, but you can see the difference, it's just amazing. I mean, it's almost like it's almost like it's completely different render settings, but it's only like one button difference. And that's what, make, that's what makes this setting so incredible. And I've been using it quite a lot now. Now there is a little bit of a downside. It does, in some cases, it does um, give a little bit of a strange shading effect, especially with glass materials. But it's not that bad. And it, it, really, it really helps um, just get rid of that noise and create a nice, crisp, clean looking scene. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I know it was a real fast tutorial, but still, a lot of tutorials don't have to be um, really long for you guys to learn anything. Some of them can be really short. And with this one, it's it's just really straightforward. It's just a button. And obviously, there are some settings you can work with here. I don't really know what all of them do yet. But what, all I do know is that this, um, um, just by pressing this button, denoising, it can help your scene a lot. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, hit the like below, subscribe, and check out some other videos. Um, also, check out my Gumroad. Um, I'll put a link to that below as well, where you can see um, complete animation courses. So I'll see you guys later.